welcome back to week 33 of my Iron Man Road to Completionist Cape series, starting off this week by just selling some stuff to the general store, so this is some uh, some junk I picked up on one of my Ark Islands, uh, but this is something I've been waiting to sell for a little while now, and uh, yeah, it's worth just about 7 mil. That's uh, 71.4k maple shield bows unstrung. Um, yeah, I really don't think I'm ever going to disassemble them or anything like that, so, yeah, I'll take the 7 mil. Uh, then here are some U-Shield bows as well, and yeah, that's another uh, 1.8 mil there. Uh, though I'll, I sadly can't sell these uh, broad arrows, though eventually I'll have to uh, disassemble them, I'm sure. Can get some head parts, maybe some base parts, uh, not sure. Uh, yeah, but there's 31k broad arrows as well. That puts me at uh, 26 .6 mil, and I've still got like 11 mil in alchemy sitting right here. Um, so yeah, I'm doing pretty good uh, in terms of my gold. Well, today I've been doing uh, some of this and that, did some thieving, some agility, uh, but I also did some disassembling of broad arrows, and now I can make this, the Monkey Mind Control Helmet. Uh, don't know what I have to do with it. Yes, I'll hire Steve, okay. Uh, need to make a second bedroom with a bed. Okay, I'll come back and do that later. Uh, but that means I can now, uh, well, I now have like a demon butler equivalent that works entirely for free. That's quite nice. Uh, so that way I can start working through my construction planks uh, eventually. Also, I think I may as well go ahead and use these black pearls. My uh, bank is starting to get quite full. Uh, so I'll throw them onto Herblore, and there, 36k bonus XP uh, each. Oh, I have to wait till tomorrow to actually use uh, the other two. Uh, but that's, that's pretty nice. It'll be like 100k bonus XP in my Herblore. On to day 226, and of course I want to extend this Delvin to Damonheim, so I got some Vizwax. Uh, also, I figure I should re-roll the Searing Ashes. And, uh, sure, Cooking Cave Fish. Uh, that'll be some pretty good cooking XP. Uh, also, I've been doing a little bit of smithing, uh, doing the LRC thing, and uh, now that it is an Ithil Ireworth hour, I'm doing uh, thieving as like a rotation back and forth, because they're the only two clans I can currently thieve from. Uh, I think later on... I have no idea what I'm going to do right now, but I think I might go do some, uh, some thieving at Dwarf Traders, maybe? Uh, or even some divination for caches. Uh, don't know though. Uh, but I figure I can stop working on smithing before too long, uh, because just as I finish up cooking, uh, I can change my miscellanea over to gather coal. It's something I had completely forgotten about, and um, yeah, it means my smithing should be pretty close to complete, because I believe there's a like 3k Addy and 1k Runite sitting in, um, in Falador and Artisan's Workshop. Uh, not entirely sure, I can always double check. Uh, but yeah, that means the rest of these perfect juju mining potions, uh, they're worth like 80k smithing apiece. Um, yeah, I can just use those to finish up uh, 99, close the gap for whatever my uh, coal can't cover, and everything else should be covered by miscellanea. Uh, of course, because I'm going to still need the maple logs uh, to eventually get fletching done. I have no idea how many days are remaining there. Uh, slightly missed that disassemble, but there's 104 invention. I believe that puts me uh, one level away from alchemical onyxes? Uh, no, 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 those are the last two uh, junk and charge drain reductions. Um, yeah, two, uh, three more levels for the alchemical onyx, and uh, only one more for these. Um, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. About to go do some uh, vire gains. Well, that was quite a productive hour. I think this is all of the uh, the herbs I got. I don't believe I put any back in the bank uh, when I did visit it. Uh, but 124 Avento, 76 Ranar, 64 Snapdragon. These two right here are pretty good. Uh, then all the spider eggs to go along with the Snapdragon. And even some Torstol in the end, plus a Torstol seed. Uh, also, I keep getting these Uncharted Island maps, which are quite useful. Um, pretty happy about that. And, uh, yeah, some Crimson Charms, plus I picked up 98 Prayer and 89 Strength. Oh yeah, and the steady flow of farming XP is fantastic. 
uh, as well as the invention XP. It's like two hours there, uh, which isn't even that much charge. Uh, let me see. Equipped items, uh, yeah, so two hours there. It's a few thousand charge, but really not that bad. And uh, keep stacking up that invention XP. And before too long, I'll be able to siphon this and continue disassembling that at 10. Well, I just spent some time cooking and then the half an hour uh, doing some agility. Picked up quite a bit of XP there and uh, some prayer, getting quite close to that 99. Uh, though I'm about to do a farm run, at least a um, hard, the normal tree, a, uh, a fruit tree, and the Calquat run. Uh, yeah, and then maybe a herb run right after, actually, just because I uh, want that farming XP. It's still my lowest skill. Also making some extreme ranging potions. I uh, also made all of the uh, supers to go along with it. Uh, but it's just over 500 uh, that I had had a lot of dwarf weeds saved up over time. Uh, so yeah, just burning through those. Also, I'm about uh, 13k XP away from 87 farming, so close to another level there. And uh, yeah, I didn't miss it. I'm going to go run uh, my first cache of the day. And then uh, probably pickpocket here, pickpocket here, and head to sleep. Starting day 227, and I uh, just picked up 87 farming. I was uh, running over to add some rocks to my statue of Damarok, and then I checked the health on that magic tree, and bam, 87. Uh, now I'm going to go do some thieving. So the next clip is probably going to be a thieving level. Uh, I want to get up to about 95 and then just move over to Prif, and uh, keep doing that in circles. Well, I worked on thieving for a little while, and uh, did a little bit of Hethan agility, uh, but I also did a daily challenge that I want to go ahead and turn in. Uh, cooking cave fish. Let's just go ahead and claim that almost 87k XP, which is pretty great. And my 200 cave fish turn into 80 rock tail, which I'll probably end up using on another challenge. Uh, but I don't know. I do have quite a few saved up here. Um, actually getting quite close to that 99 cooking, uh, at least banked, you know. Yeah. Also, I, I picked up 93 thieving, and uh, almost all the way to 94. You can see 195k left to go there, and that's 14% uh, is 14% uh, of the remainder I needed for 99 uh, from where I started today. So I knocked out a little bit, uh, but I've still got quite a few hours left to go. And while doing my little cycles of thieving, I got some more magic brawlers, which are, like, entirely useless, so... What I'm going to do here is uh, pop out this Explorer's Ring, then go down to Alk, High Alk, and yeah, I'm just going to take the 30k. Just realized that since I'm now at a uh, total 2595, that I'm basically the max level, at least max cape level uh, before Invention was added. Huh. Uh, also, I did some math, and for this last 4.7 mil thieving, um, if I just continue doing Prif on rotation, which I now do uh, Ithil over to Amlod, down to Ireworth, up to Gadarn, and then I can add Trahern in at 95, I believe, or maybe it's Heffen, something like that, um, I'll be sitting at like 35 mil GP after all of that, uh, which is definitely enough for the rest of my, like, buyables in construction, um, yeah, and then I'll just have a lot of gold left over, so I might start buying uh, pineapple saplings or something like that again uh, to try and rush along farming, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Also, I'm really close to 96 herb lore, so I expect the next clip to probably be that. Uh, I was just burning through some supplies casually, waiting for the thieving timers to, uh, you know, expire so that I could get back to doing this. And this should result in the level right here yeah there we go perfect there's 96 herb lore which means I can now make overloads and super prayer renewals but mostly overloads without having to boost at all uh, it's fantastic um, don't know what's actually remaining aside from like you know all the different variations of overloads that are coming at 97 98 99 um, which are all easy boosts now. Uh, I've got 200 Torstoles here, which are saved up for making overloads, 
and then uh, quite a few extremes, my lowest being extreme magic, but that's mostly because of my uh, mud rune uh, lackage. Need to go and uh, make some of those, uh, but I don't have that many water talismans, so I couldn't make too many, even if I wanted to. Um, don't actually know how many overloads I'm going to have to end up making to finish herb lore. I'm thinking it's uh, 1,000, 1,500, maybe 2,000, um, but jack of trades and monthlies and stuff uh, should cover up the rest, uh, the rest of the gap there. Um, but yeah, 96 herb lore. Also, I changed the overlay. I'll try to update it the, at the same rate that I do with the total level up there. Um, but just to give an idea of about how much overall XP I have uh, at any given point. Well, I can't collect the uh, stuff from the seaweed or the, um, uh, what's it called, the fishing spot over here. But I might be able to check the oyster. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Ucompo, that's nice for some fortunate components. And, uh, yeah, the rest is just some alkables. It's funny that it's 700k because of the price of fortunate components these days. Like rip 500k bank value? Oh, not quite. I have to leave first. Eh, can I use this? Yeah, there we go. And I'll just disassemble here. The item will... yeah, okay. Sure. Nice. Fortunate component. While going to do my DG daily challenge, I also was able to complete uh, this one. Kill enemies of combat level 120. Uh, so... There's Delvin to Damonheim extended. Nice. And uh, this, which will go into attack. Yep. Not bad. 22k extra combat XP. And just pop that back in here and pick up my thieving gear again. Well, I, uh, I goofed. I was just casually thieving. Gonna wait to make a clip until tomorrow. I skipped yesterday. And, uh... Just surprise everybody with 99 thieving, but I picked up 98 just now, and that was the 2600 milestone. Uh, yeah. But I've just been doing cycles of thieving here in, uh, in Prif. I now have all clans unlocked with that 98 thieving. You can see I'm getting quite a few super potions saved up, and then, I don't know, lots of bowstrings, I guess, will be some fletching, and uh, some random stuff from Heffen. And uh, I'm getting the pieces for the uh, the necklace that you have to make once for one mil. I got five out of eight pieces, which is pretty nice. Uh, yeah, that's that's what's been going on. Didn't think I should make a clip for yesterday, because, I mean, it's a lot of gains. Also, uh, 34.2 mil gold now. Uh, that's really adding up. Um, and I thought uh, 99 is going to be around 35 mil, but it looks like it's going to be a little bit more than that, because I've got... Uh, 1.2 million XP to go. Alright, on to day 230. And <laughs> they finally caught me. I've been standing here for like five minutes. Hadn't gotten caught once. But is that it? Right? Oh, oh no. Oh, come on. Come on. Just two more. There we go. 99 thieving. At least there aren't any more clans to unlock. And, hey, they they actually caught me that time. Well, uh, I think I know where to go for this cape. I think I do. Yeah, I thought it was from this guy. So I'll just talk to him. It's in Taverly. Um, right here. A couple versions of the skill capes. Yes. Wait, what? No. Did I miss the... Hmm. No, I think I... I think... Does he just sell it? Oh, he just sells it. You don't have to talk to him. Oh, that's weird. Like, all the rest of them, you have to actually talk. Well, there's the... There's the thieving cape, anyway. Not bad. It's got that old retro look still. Uh, luckily, I didn't click the wrong thing. Um, and it's... Yeah, pretty much useless perk. And there is 88 Hunter uh, later on in the day after I picked up Thieving, just doing some Grinwalls, and I'm going to stay here probably to 89, maybe to 90. Uh, I've got quite a few hours left tonight. Um, also, I did my monthlies earlier because the reset just happened. Yeah, so I went and did the God Statues and uh, 
the troll invasion, and I threw that XP into uh, Herblor, and then, you know, construction got a lot, and prayer got a lot. I've also done a little bit of agility today, uh, but it's quite a slow skill, as you all know. And on to day 231, last day of this week, just picked up 90 Hunter. Uh, barely missed the clip, wasn't paying enough attention, uh, but that unlocks the Trapper and uh, the basic Tortles. Uh, so if I want to go catch those on, I think it's on Waco? I, I'm not actually sure, um, but you can catch them without being on an Uncharted Isle. Um, yeah, it'll be a decent XP rate. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to stick to crystallizing, because it's fast enough, and it gives some herbs, which uh, are always useful. So I moved on from the hunting and uh, construction. I did a little bit of, uh, not too much, though. And, uh, yeah, doing some cooking, because I think I actually have enough materials to make it all the way to 99. Uh, I haven't done all of the math, but at least there is 98 for now, right? Uh, just this last level to go, and, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. And bam! There we go. All of my cooking supplies are cooked. Also, I've got a few, uh, things down here that I can pick up. One cooking urn left, but if I just, uh, teleport all of these... There's 99 cooking. That puts me at 15 out of 27 which is well on my way to max. Uh, pretty happy about that one. Gonna go pick up the cape, and all of these things you stop burning, like roasted chompy at 99. Yeah, okay. Hello, head chef. Which, funny examine text, he rarely actually cooks heads. Don't know where he got that name from, then. Uh, let's pick up... Oh, no. Let me see. Yes, please. Can I buy a skill cape? Sure. And there it is. There is the cooking cape. Probably uh, one of the first 99s I actually wanted to get when I first played RuneScape way back in the day. Uh, mostly because it was fairly fast and, um, you know, it wasn't the plain uh, fire making or fletching like most people uh, ended up picking up. Um, but yeah, that's it for this week. Ending it off with t my second 99 for the week, and uh, hopefully next week, though I am starting classes again for the summer, uh, starting on Monday, I should still be able to get one or two more 99s for next week. I'm kind of planning ahead a little bit, and uh, well, the gains will continue. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next week.